producer doesn't have to be somebody who ever touches a knob. You know, somebody like Rick Rubin, you know, and a handful of other producers like that are sort of notorious for just being vibe gurus. You know, their job is to literally keep things flowing and they have a team of people who are doing everything and they're, you know, check in during part of the day and be like, yeah, it all sounds like this is working. Where a good engineer may be very different from a producer is that they may be uniquely interested in the way the microphones are picking up sounds, the kind of sounds that they're getting. They may easily be dialing in some really fantastic sound, but maybe not paying attention to just the overarching sense that the song is not good. I think it's the... It's the That's uniquely the area that as a producer that you're expected to go into, which is just always being accountable to possibly step up and be like, this is not good and we need to change this. And that may involve either rewriting the song, that may involve coming in and telling a really good player, you're not playing this right, you know, which gets dicey. So there's a lot of politics, I think, um, to what the producer does. You can be very effective in helping somebody get their vision, knowing that all you're really focused on is like where they're coming from, like what their motivation is, and um, you know these other aspects that are sort of artistic considerations. There is a thing to digital that allows repetition. You're allowed to do something many, many times over again without the consequence and the burden of the cost of, you know, say a roll of tape. The digital technology and that repetition, as much freedom as that offers, it also reduces the strength of the player because they're coming into a situation where they know that they can do things like a hundred times as opposed to the way it used to be that you showed up on the floor of a recording studio and you damn well better be sounding the way you want to sound because, you know, before a certain time period, nobody was even going to mix that. So that created like a very real sense of the player being able to accomplish what it is they're looking to do. The producer in that sense is much less apt to, you know, be micromanaging certain things when that is the case. Bands don't understand that now, so a lot of times they'll come in to make records and they just, they're so used to thinking that they can access their sort of vision and that they've been responsible for it. But in reality, when they get to the situation where they're playing this stuff, they may be all over the place. They may be just any kind of music. There may be any kind of vision being stated. Producing a record is not about the record as much as trying to trying to get somebody ready for the job. 